is Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, September the 19th. In 1957, Nevada is site of the first ever underground nuclear explosion. In 1995, Unabomber Manifesto is published. In 1777, Arnold and Gates argue at the first battle of Saratoga. In 1973, country rock pioneer Graham Parson dies. In 2000, Michael Chabon's Pulitzer Prize winning novel debuts. In 1959, Khrushchev barred from visiting Disneyland. In 1893, New Zealand first in women's vote. In 1955, Peron disposed in Argentina. In 19... deposed. <laughs> in... Excuse me. In 1985, earthquake shakes Mexico City. In 1881, President James Garfield dies. In 1969, Nixon cancels draft calls for November and December. Cancels draft calls. Okay. In 1827, Jim Bowie stabs a Louisiana banker with his famous knife. In 1941, Germans bombard Leningrad. Let's go on to some words of the day. Our first word of the day... Dry as dust. Is dry as dust. D-R-Y-A-S. D-R-Y-A-S-D-U-S-T. It is both a noun and an adjective. Uh, British English, late 19th century. The noun definition, a boring, pedantic speaker or writer. Adjective, dull and boring. Examples in a sentence. I've been accused of being dry as dust, but I truly love getting lost in data and research. The second, don't be dry as dust, come watch the game with us. Our next word of the day. Biota. Is biota. B-I-O-T-A. Noun, Latin, 17th, 20th century. It means the animal and plant life of a particular region, habitat, or geological period. Examples in a sentence. The biota of the desert tends to be hardy and rugged. The second, Suzanne was fascinated by the biota in the rainforest, which was different from what she saw at home in Michigan. Our next word of the day is dally. It is D-A-L-L-Y. It is a verb, Old French, 15th century. Two definitions. One, act or move slowly. The second, have a casual romantic liaison, liaison with. Examples in a sentence, I was enjoying the spring weather so much that I dallied on my way back to the office. The second, he's not looking for a serious relationship, but he has been known to dally with the new romance. Our next word of the day, schadenfreude, is schadenfreude. It is S-C-H-A-D-E-N-F-R-E-U-D-E. -E. It is a noun. It is German, late 19th century. It means pleasure derived by someone from another person's misfortune. Examples in a sentence. I felt a twinge of schadenfreude when I heard that my former colleague who liked to cause trouble for others had been fired. The second, Sarah couldn't help but feel a bit of schadenfreude when she found out that the man who stole her car had been arrested. And our last word of the day is potation. P-O-T-A-T-I-O-N, noun, Latin, 15th century. Two definitions. The first, a drink. The second, the action of drinking alcohol. All right. Um, examples in a sentence. Uh, sit down and join me for a potation. The second, a majority of the plans for the bachelor party concerned copious amounts of potation. Potation. All right, let's go on and find some history. The history of dishwashers. All right. The first commercially successful dishwasher was invented by Josephine Cochran. As a socialite, Cochran often hosted fancy dinner parties with her fine vintage china, but was dismayed when her servants chipped the plates while washing them. She resolved to wash the dishes herself, but soon became tired of the tedious work and sought out a mechanical solution. In 1885, two years after her husband's ultimate untimely death, left her with mounting debt. Cochran filled, filed her first patent as J.G. Cochran. In 1886, she and a young mechanic named George Butters worked on a prototype in the woodshed behind her home. Although she didn't invent the very first dishwasher, 
Cochrane's design was the first to use water pressure rather than scrubbers to do the cleaning. It also featured racks specifically designed to hold dishes in place and did not require the user to pour boiling water over the dishes, as previous machines had. In December of 1886, Cochrane received a patent for her dishwashing machine. Soon after, she began selling her invention to restaurants and hotels. Her first order came in 1887 from Chicago's famous Palmer House Hotel. She started the Garris Cochran Company, but had trouble finding investors, most of whom wanted a man to run the business. She pressed on anyway and showcased her product at the World's Columbian Exposition in 1893, which brought in publicity and new sales from institutions like colleges and hospitals. Sorry about that. Around 1898, she opened her own factory with George Butters as a manager and began Cochran's Crescent Washing Machine Company. The business sold units as far away as Alaska and Mexico, but mostly to other businesses, despite Cochran's efforts and domestic models still cost about $350, which was too expensive for most American households. Her company was acquired by the Hobart Manufacturing Company in 1926. Hobart manufactured dishwashers under the name KitchenAid. In the 1960s, Cochran's dream of household dishwashers finally became a reality when they became a common household appliance. In 1986, KitchenAid was acquired by the Whirlpool Company, which continues to manufacture dishwashers today. While many design innovations have occurred since Cochran created her first dishwasher, and there are many more brands on the market today, the basic design of her machine remains important. Today, the majority of American households have a dishwasher in their kitchen. I don't, but I would love one. An inspiring quote. Today's quote is from Lucy Maud Montgomery. Nothing is ever really lost to us as long as we remember it. Nothing is really ever lost to us as long as we remember it. That's pretty good. And let's go for another quote. Let's see. Um, looking. All right. How about this one? From Marie von Ebner Eichenbach. There is only one proof of ability. Action. There is only one proof of ability. Action. And now for our holidays for today. For September 19th, it is National Meow Like a Pirate Day. Talk Like a Pirate Day. Aortic Dissection Awareness Day. It is Day of the Glories of the Army. National Butterscotch Pudding Day. National Cat DNA Day. National IT Professionals Day. National Jude Day. National Voter Registration Day. National Women Road Warrior Day. Erica A uh, Birthdays. Erica Ashes. Eva Marie's. Freddie Dreads. Jimmy Fallon's. Sabrina Claudio's. And Sky Days. As always, there's a lot of holidays to celebrate today. Why don't you help yourself do some butterscotch pudding? In the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, hobby yarning. Bye now.